Hello, Accelerated Math 67 students. We are now going to start video 18, and video 18 is called Percent of a Quantity, and we find that on page 39 in my comp book. So I'm going to turn there now. Um, so here we go. We have percent of a quantity, our goal for today. Today we are going to find the percent of a quantity. And remember, a quantity is any amount of um, numbers that have a unit of measure. So we're going to find the percent of that. The question that I want you to be thinking about is, what modeling tool can, you, can help you find percents of quantity? And we're going to go straight into a practice problem to see what you can figure out with this. And we're going to be talking about SMS Student Council. Um, it says, the Student Council at Sanawa has 13 students from 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Um, eight of them are 8th graders. What percent of the Student Council is 8th grade? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to figure out some information about this. Let's read a second read looking for quantities. The Student Council at Sanawa has 13 students from 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. Eight of them are 8th graders. What percent of the Student Council is 8th grade? So um, 13 students would be a quantity, 8 of them is a quantity, and then we have to figure out what percent is 8th grade. So how many total students are there? If you said 13, you are correct. So one of the models that we can use to help us is a tape diagram. So what I have is I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 students in the Sanawa Student Council Eight of them are eighth graders. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this tape diagram. I'm going to draw another one right here so I can actually manipulate it. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Almost made it. Thirteen. Okay. So we know that this is the thirteenth box. So this would represent all of the students, this box. If we went from here to here, that's all of them, right? If we hadn't even started, then we would know right here is 0%. Does everybody see what we're doing? So if we know that 8 out of the 13 are 8th graders, so we would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So from here to here are 8th graders. Okay, the question is, what would be the percent of 8th grade? So we know that it takes 13 to have 100%. And then we know that right here is the 8th box and that all of these are 8th <clears throat> graders. So that means 8 out of the 13 students are 8th graders. So the question that we have to figure out is, what would percentage is represented by each box? Okay, so we can either figure out the unit rate, which would be really easy because all you have to do is you have to figure out um, how you get from 13 to 1. And how do we do that? We divide by 13. So what you do to one side, you have to do the other. Or you can try to turn this into a denominator of 100, which 13 does not go into 100 evenly. Um, so we could work on it that way. Or the other thing that you can do to help you find out the percentage is you would make this a division problem. So we have 8 divided by 13. So 8 divided by 13. Does 13 go into 8 evenly? The answer is no. Does 13 go into 80? Okay, let's do some math and see. I'm going to try, how about 7? 13 times 7 is 21. Regroup to 2, so that's 91, so that's too big. How about 6? That's 18, so that's 78. That looks pretty close. So we'll put a 6 up here, and that gives us 78, right? Subtract it off, and we're left over with 2, so we can put another 0 here, right? <clears throat> and so what we're seeing right here is 13 can go into that one time, and then that is 13. Subtract, and that gives us a 7, and then... Um, 6 is too big, so let's try 5, 15, that's 65, so then 5 would go above here. And basically, what we are seeing is that this can go for quite a ways, yeah? So this is where we can stop, because 
we know that if we rounded this, we could, but we know that eight students out of 13 is about 62%, okay? Or we could say that it's 61.5%. Um, so around here, we're going to say about 61.5%, about. It's not exact, okay? So that's one way to figure it out by using the tape diagram. Or the other way that we can figure it out is we can use the double number line, which is very similar to um, the tape diagram doing the same things, except on the double number line, you're going to use both of your numbers. And this would be percent. And this would be students on student council. So when we have zero students, we have zero percent. When we have all 13 students, we have 100%. Um, if we have one student, so if we did that, we're going to take 100 and divide it by 13, because 13 divided by 13 is 1, so 100 divided by 13 is, um, we saw that it would go 7 times. So let's try 7 up here, 91. So that would be a 10, and that would be a 9, so that means we have 9 here, um, so not 7 and 9 thirteenths percent, right? So that would be 7 and 9 thirteenths percent, so that's 1. Then you just take that percent and you multiply it by whatever number, so let's try that. Um, 7 and 9 thirteenths, 7 and 9 thirteenths. Well, we know that 13 times 7 is 91 plus 9 is 100. So this is really 113 times 8. Let's see what happens. So we get 800 divided by 13. 800 divided by 13. And we know that 13 can go into 80 six times, 78. That becomes 20, which then that becomes a 1. And what do you notice? We notice what we did up here, which is we got 61.5%. So 8 is about right here. So again, our math matches up. What we could do is we could do M5 percent Okay? So that's using it as the double number line. Okay? There's one other model that you could do, is you could do a ratio table. And again, the ratio table is very similar to what you're seeing up here. So 13% is 100, 1% is 7 and 9 thirteenths, 8 is 61 and 5 thirteenths, and you just fill them in as you go. What would half be? Half is about 6.5, so that would be 50% at 6.5, okay? So, Using tools to help you figure it out, what we came to the conclusion is, is that the total number of eighth graders on student council makes up 61 and 5 thirteenth percent. So eight student council members in eighth grade is 61 and a half percent, about, okay? Um, I will be giving you some practice problems of using these little tape diagrams, double number lines, and ratio tables on the board in the morning, so make sure you look for that. Um, the thing I want you to remember again in this lesson is remember that a percent is part of 100. Um, going back to our question of our lesson, what modeling tool can help you find percents of quantities? Well, I gave you three of them that could help you. Okay? All right, my dears, that is all. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Bye.